Welcome first years to a virtual tour of your new school, Nelson R. Mandela School of Medicine. This virtual tour is presented by SASCO. Congratulations on your acceptance. You'll soon become part of the 70 year legacy that has led up to today. Established in 1951, it was originally a racially segregated part of the University of Natal, reserved for non-white students. It was one of the few tertiary institutions legally allowed to provide education to black people under apartheid. The school survived against the odds of an apartheid regime that did not want it to exist. Naturally, the school became a hub of political activity and resistance to the regime, from which emerged leaders such as Steve Biko and others. Today, we are led by our dean, Professor Nkosa Antlova, a locally and internationally renowned dermatologist. Our school continues to produce leaders of their field, alumni who range from the Minister of Health, Zulini Mkize, to leaders of research and epidemiology like Professor Salim Abdul Karim. Today, we will take you on a tour of this great school, these halls that saw many great people and now sees you. We hope you enjoy the video tour. The journey begins at the gate. To enter, you will need to visit the self-screening portal at selfscreening.ukzn.ac.za. The pedestrian gate via Ambilo Road is also card activated. And in this tour, we will show you the RMS office where you receive and activate your student card. So from this gate, we proceed past Olive's kitchen. This is our temporary cafeteria, while the main cafeteria is under renovation. All right, onward towards the entrance. And on your right, you will see the alternate entrance to the school, also card activated. All right, so we continue towards the entrance. Up the main stairs, through the automated doors and to your left, you'll find the Dean's Suite. Certain administrators are located here, with other offices on the second floor. The most striking thing is straight ahead, it's the library. A useful place to settle into, allowing you to borrow needed textbooks, access the internet via the LAN, and study in peace. This is accessed via a student card as well. You can navigate the various floors in med school using these elevators or the staircase. Our first stop is the Skills Lab. On the second floor, down this corridor, you will find the skills lab. This is a place where most of your practical based teaching will occur. Back down the hallway into the main hall and you will find the blue and red LAN. These LANs are connected to each other and features the IT help desk. Located outside the LAN in the hallway, is a card recharge station where you can add money to your student card to pay for printing, which can be done in the LAN. Printers are located near the IT help desk in the red LAN, and the printing process is simple. Sign into a computer using your LAN credentials, which is your student number and password, print a document from the computer, and then simply scan your card at the printer. You can also recharge at a recharge station in the library. All right, so now we move out of the LAN and we're still on the second floor, back into the corridor and turn left. Now, this is the corridor where you'll find the main offices, the DSRA to your left, the main admin office to your right. So these are the finance offices and through this door and another left you will find RMS. This is where you get your student card activated. This clinic is led by a sister that is employed by the university and you have access to various services and will have various vaccinations completed here. Back into the elevator to the third floor. This, this is your floor. This is the home of the first year. We will now take you to one of the most amazing lecture theatres in our campus, L7. This place is magical. And it's a shame that we cannot show you this place in person due to the pandemic. With up to over 300 conference seats, the latest in projection technology and astounding lighting controls, this theatre is quite the attraction. 
Special entrance also is located at the back of the lecture room that can be accessed by the fourth floor. But now we're showing you the third floor entrance. And locked. Unfortunately, first years, you'll have to see it with your very own eyes. <laughs> we take you back out and um, there's various facilities available in this region. But our next stop is the fifth floor. So the fifth floor and sixth floor of our school um, features the study venues. So basically the name is self-explanatory. It's a place where um, you can study. Most are air conditioned and feature tables, chairs, and power outlets. We're on our way back now, all the way down to the ground floor. At this time, we were able to capture the medical student in their very own secret habitat on their way to the dissection hall. To your left, the quad and exit. To your right, lockers. And again on the left, the cafeteria currently under renovation. As you continue on the ground floor, you will come across the playroom, also accessed via student card. This is the recently upgraded relaxation zone fitted with pool tables, TVs, and couches. We're on our way again towards the engine room of the school, the SRC office. This is the home of the Medical School Campus Representative Council. But on the way, you do pass another quad of tables and chairs. Here is the office of the SRC. We continue down the hallway and out towards an open area. The fees office and cashiers can be found to your left at the end of the SRC office corridor. And if you turn right, you will reach the parking once more. We move on towards the Kairith Tower building. Here you will find a cafe. This building is a beautiful piece of architecture that has won various awards including the Coral Brick SAIA Award of Merit. The SAIA is the South African Institute of Architects. And you can just see how beautiful this place is. It is past the water feature and through the automated doors to the cafe. It is also renowned as a photo shoot area. We move away from the Kairuth building as we reach the end of our tour. And no tour is complete without showing you the official designated photoshoot area of our school. But we'll get there. So you turn left and it's up these stairs that you will find a giant chessboard. A newly furnished outdoor gym. And just chilled seating areas. This is the photoshoot area of our campus. It's up these stairs that you can access the second floor admin offices. And here's the gym. This brings us to the end of our tour. We hope that we can welcome you to our hallways and passages, that we can welcome you to our lecture theatres and venues, and welcome you to our playroom and gym in person. But for now, we can welcome you to our family.
Thank you so much for joining us on this virtual tour of your new medical school from Sasko UKZN Med School Branch. <laughs>